Good day viewers. Welcome to our third lesson for grade 9 home economics learners and interested viewers. My name is Epi Kanyuka. Today we are going to talk about decision making. At the end of today's lesson, you should be able to identify different ways of decision making which are custom or habit, impulsive, casting lots or chance or coin tossing, rational, least step in the rational decision process, apply the steps of making in a given situation. Viewers, decision making is the process where alternative actions are considered and a decision is made. Viewers, decision making is a process where alternative actions are considered and a decision is made. There are different types of decisions, such as rational, habitual, impulsive, and coin tossing. Viewers, there are five steps in the rational decision making process, which are to define the decision, define the goals, define alternative solutions to the problem, choose the best alternative, and evaluate your decision. Very important, you should always write them down in order and not mixing the steps. Custom or habit is when action is repeated until it is a habit made automatically. Impulse decision is a decision made on the spur of the moment without proper planning. Chance, casting or tossing a coin. People who cannot decide often toss a coin. Both choices have an equal chance. Rational decision is based on the analysis of the various aspects of a problem. There are five steps in the rational decision-making process, such as define the decision, define the goals, defining the alternative solution to the problem, choose the best alternative, and evaluate your decision. Very important, you should always write them in order and not mixing steps. Defining the decision. This is to identify the decision that needs to be made or goal that needs to be reached. Defining the goals. This is to gather additional information related to the problem. It will help you to understand better what needs to be done in solving the problem. Find alternative solution to the problem. You will look at possible alternatives you need to consider before making a final choice. Choose the best alternative. This is to evaluate the decision based on the resources, needs, wants, value, and goals of the family. Only one alternative can be chosen from those being evaluated. Evaluate your decision. Once you have made your final decision and put it into action, evaluate your decision and decide how successful it is. In conclusion, let's look at what we have learned today. Defining decision making Type of decision making, steps in the rational decision making process and apply the steps of decision making in a given situation. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Until next time, stay safe, sanitize your hands and always wear your mask.